Hello and welcome. I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way. And I am joined here today with Ali Peck from Glow Portraits. Hi, Ali. Hello, everybody. Awesome. We've got Bianca from Bianca Hubble Photography. Hey there. And Courtney from Twig and Olive. <laughs> And I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, and you are joining us for a live speed critique. We had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of amazing images submitted. So I do apologize in advance if we did not select yours for this critique today. We we had so many, you guys. It was like close to a thousand images that have been submitted. So thank you, th thank you for the response. It's been really incredible. Um, a couple things to note is that the images may look slightly different on the screen um, than what they have they, when they were submitted. There is sometimes a little bit of color change, exposure change in them, uh, the way that we're displaying them. So um, if your image doesn't look like how you submitted it, that's kind of what may be going on. So um, all the teachers have it, the images to see, and we're going to be starting right away. So the way that works with a speed critique is we're going to be putting up images on the screen, and we'll be going through them, um, just having some comments and, and some critique on them, just so everyone can learn and grow from that experience. So I'm just going to get my screen share here, and then we will get rolling on it. All right, so can everyone see the image? Let's see. Can everyone see the image? Yep. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so we've got this beautiful image that we'll we'll start with. And Ali, let's start with you. What would you like to say about this image? I think the skin tones look beautiful. The pose is great because his head is a little bit up higher slightly than his body. Um, the hand looks nice and relaxed. The only critique I have, and everything looks sharp, the critique I have is just a gray spot underneath his mouth and um, just above his chin. Mm. The bottom area. And that's it. Otherwise, I think it's lovely. Yep. Bianca, anything to add? No, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, well, I guess if we're going to be nitpicky about it, I would probably fix the bat blanket down at the bottom right hand side where it has some wrinkles. Um, maybe take some frequency separation and kind of get those wrinkles out. But that's just being super nitpicky. This is a beautiful image. Okay, sorry, I just have a little tech um, thing coming on. So if you are listening in, just let us know where you're coming from in the chat box. Um, and let me see, I think, let me see if I can keep you guys up. Um, okay, I think, okay. Um, we're gonna go to next image. All right, let's see. Courtney, let's start ah. with you. Oh, of course, my dogs <laughs> started barking. Oh, I love this, I love, what a beautiful baby. Um, <laughs> sorry, can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> It's, okay, she's beautiful. I love the pose. I love the outfits. I'm getting more and more fond of outfits on babies, and it looks really good. Um, the only critique I think I would have is just to angle her head a little bit more towards her belly button, towards the center of her body, but otherwise it looks really good. Awesome. Okay, and Allie, anything to add? Um, it's hard to tell on the... Um it's hard to tell on, on the image, but it looks like the focus actually fell on her foot, on her toes. Mm. Because just from me looking at this, and again, it's hard to tell because it's it's on screen, but um, her nose, lips, and eyelashes look quite soft compared to the toes on her foot. So I'm thinking her foot is higher than her, closer to the camera than her actual face is. And so the focal point fell onto her, on her toes. Mm. Yeah, I totally see that too. Awesome, great job. Okay, so next image. And we'll start with Bianca. This is a really sweet image. Oh my goodness. I love the way daddy's face is looking at baby. It's just um, really intimate. The main critique I have on this is the crop. Um, I feel like it's, it's kind of cropped off a little too much, maybe a little bit more body and more of baby's body there. Um, and maybe the way dad's hand is holding baby to kind of lift it up just a little bit. So he's not, Looking like he might be choking, maybe. I know he's not, but just just to maybe to help it to come up, hold up a little bit differently, um, to make it look that way. But I love the connection. I think it's super sweet. I love baby's eyes open as well. It's it's adorable. Totally, I have to totally agree with you on that one. 
Um, I love the connection. What I always look for though is either connection with me or connection with the camera. So I would have preferred baby to be looking directly at the camera, which I know is really tricky to get. Yeah. Um, but once you do, those are pretty magic images or having baby turned so baby is actually looking at dad. Cause I love, I just love the eye contact connection um, and looking for those. So that would be my critique. I think it's a beautiful image and a great black and white conversion. Okay, so next one, let's go with Bianca. You can start with this one. All right. Uh, this is a sweet little baby. I love the little outfit. It's absolutely adorable. Um, there, so one is one thing that the first thing I saw was the little the crotch area. It looks like it was maybe blurred out or painted or something. Um, but it's got a kind of weird kind of something something down there going on. <laughs> um, and then the lighting a little lighting for me comes down from the top of the head downwards and this look this lighting looks like it's almost coming from the back of the baby um towards the camera um so you have really harsh shadows in the front um which i would i would switch around my lighting um to make it fall down so they can have a little butterfly effect underneath the nose yeah totally agree anything to add ali um, again, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is my screen or, um, if this is an issue, I don't know, maybe you guys can, can tell too, but it looks like the eyes are soft as well to me, the lashes. It looks like the, to me, the focal point goes right to the hands. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Onto the face. Yeah. Nice. I totally see that too. Yeah. Cute outfit. Cute baby. <laughs> Great skin tones. Skin tones look fantastic. Okay. Next image. We'll start with Courtney. Oh, I love the tones in this. This is really pretty. Um, the only critique I would have is probably to move baby's hands a little bit closer to her ear so you can angle her face and chin down just a little bit. Um, she's got a little bit of a hot spot on the side of her face, um, and that would help soften that and bring it, um, just bring the angle of her face down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Allie, anything to add? I love it. I think it's beautiful. If you're going to be super nitpicky, I would probably just angle the chair a little bit more. It looks like it's on a slight angle so that um, it's not quite even. And I would prefer the, the chair to be more um, turned uh, this way. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So yeah, yeah just more of a flat um, instead of kind of zooming in on, on it. Exactly. Angle. So on an angle you have um, just with the depth, depth perception, you can have the blur, the blurring of the chair. I totally agree with you. Okay, so next image, we'll start with Bianca. Oh, I love babies with hair. There's something about hair. Oh, babies yes. my favorite thing ever. <laughs> uh, so this baby is adorable. And um, let's see, as far as with the critique, I would say um, pop, pop up. That sounds horrible. I always say pop baby, and that's not the way I want to say it. <laughs> but to maybe um, support baby a little bit more on the head, so the head is up higher than the butt um, and putting the hand flat with the hand underneath the cheek instead of it being um, on the arm itself. Totally. Uh, Courtney, anything to add? I actually don't mind how baby's kind of almost like sinking in it. It makes it look like he's kind of snuggling in a soft blanket um, and it's different, which I like. The yeah. only thing I would probably do is just pull his fingers and his hands a little bit closer to his cheek just so you have a little bit more detail. Okay, and we're gonna head to next image. Sorry. Here we go, let's start with Allie. That's beautiful, I love the light and the colors, the skin looks beautiful. Um, I like the angle. I actually really like it. I, um, I'd be very happy if this was my image. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. I think, um, yeah, I love the angle. I love the lighting. I think to be totally, no, totally nitpicky, I want to see all the fingers just instead of the two. But honestly, I am being crazy nitpicky on this. The color, I love the color in the cheeks. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is a fantastic job. Okay. Next one, we'll start with Allie. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a dolly. <laughs> so cute. Um, so I love the concept with the on the fur with the, uh, the fireplace in the background. It looks really sweet and warm. Um, the the baby him, I believe that's a boy. It's, I'm sorry, if it's a girl, I can't tell. But um, I look, no, it looks like there might be um, little bits. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, so there's a boy. I don't know what it is. But anyway, the baby, um, the face is soft to me. It's not in focus at all. Oh. And um, you would really want to watch that bum and those little those little girl or boy bits there. Um, it, because uh, it looks like little bits are showing. I would probably um, angle the bum farther away and bring the face closer to the camera just so that you can avoid that problem. And also um, having little some fingers showing would have, been, would have been great too. That would have also turned the baby's head up towards, uh, rotate the baby's head um, towards the ceiling more so you can see the face. Totally. With with using fur, it can also be really tricky with the, the hairs that are in front of the face and the hands usually. Um, sometimes what I like to do is I'll, I'll actually add a little rolled up towel underneath their head just to raise it up slightly and really just make sure I'm pressing down the fur just so you're able to see all those those details that you want to see in the image. Yeah. Okay, so next image, Bianca. Oh, sweet. Look at those beautiful lips. Um, I personally love the lighting on this. I think it's gorgeous and I love the lips. Uh, I'm just a baby person. I guess I love all the little details on babies. It's <laughs> a good thing, I guess. Um, let's see. So for me, I would say the hands, um, putting it flat and underneath the cheek, that helps kind of bring out the cheek a little bit more, shows a little bit of the chub, um, and then gives you more of that details. Uh, and the other thing would be the leg. Um, the leg that the foot is showing, I would kind of pull it um, back towards the back of the backdrop a little more just so the toes are showing through the legs instead of through the crease of the legs folded um, instead of the whole entire foot coming out. Awesome. Courtney, anything uh, to add? Mm -hmm. um, I, like Bianca said, I love the light on this. It's really, it's my cup of tea. Um, the, like she said, with the fingers, kind of just moving the fingers under the cheek a little bit, and that'll help the face look a little bit less smushed against the blanket as well. Mm. Great tips. Okay. Next one, Ellie. Hello. Uh, so the angle on this to me, I would prefer to have the um, head first towards the camera. Um, um, and then the hands underneath the chin so that the baby's head's rotated towards the camera instead of shooting, uh, we're shooting a little bit up the nose this way um, in this image. And it's, um, it looks soft to me as well. I don't, I don't really see where the focal point is falling. Maybe the, uh, actually it looks to me like the focal point might be falling on the upper arm where the crease is by the elbow. Um, yeah. It looks like the sharpest to me. So we're missing a bit on the face there. Yeah. So my tip is always, I always try to shoot for the eye line. Um, and I always try to have both eyes on the same focal plane just to keep them both in focus. If I am shooting on an angle, sometimes I'll just change my f-stop. Um, if I'm shooting close to wide open, I'll stop down a little bit just so I'm able to get those details all in focus. Um, next one. Oh, Courtney, you're going to love this one. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I love eyes open shots, whether it's babies or, you know, um, six month olds. This one maybe looks like it's between a three and six month old. Yeah. Um, the light looks good. It's a little harsh in some areas, like just below the right eye there a little bit. Um, but beautiful, beautiful baby. Yeah. I love you can just tell the focus just right away to the eyes. Awesome. Now my critique is we are up lighting. It's a beautiful baby, beautiful image, but I want to change the lighting. I want to put those catch lights up in the upper part of the eye instead of the lower. Otherwise it ends up being an up lighting situation. Anything to add girls? I love it. Oh my goodness. The eye contact is amazing. It's yeah. so mm -hmm. beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Next image. We'll go Bianca. Aww. I love it. I love this pose. Um, it's kind of one of my favorite poses. Just so nice and snuggly. Baby's beautiful. Um, let's see. So my preference when I'm looking at a shot is the first thing I want to see is baby. And I feel like the first thing I might see here is more backdrop. So I would bring baby down, um, down more on in the frame, frame it a little bit more downward and um, have the bouquet in the back of the picture instead of being so much backdrop in the front. Totally. Um, I, I feel like there's a little bit of gray in the hands and a little bit on the side of the face as well, but I love this picture. It's so sweet. And mom, I know totally loves it because mm -hmm. Lord, it's just, it's adorable. It's a great job. Whoever it is. Awesome. Allie, anything to add? I think it's lovely as well. Um, if the only suggestion I would bring, and I, to me, this looks like it's a natural light. Um, I could be wrong, but, um, 
if it is either natural light or a studio light, I would just bring the, the, the light itself forward a little bit more towards you um, shooting because there's a bit of a harsh uh, line where the hat is and underneath the nose. So yeah. that's leading me to think that the light is more of a 90 degree angle than a 45, but otherwise I think it's perfect. Really you know, I, almost, it's a beautiful image, but almost looking at it, I wonder if it's natural light, but with another light on in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see that? Did you see that yeah. on, the, on the far side? So just when you are shooting with natural light, um, just make sure that you're dimming off the overhead lights and other lights in the room because it can affect the, the white balance it can, and affect the lighting of your image. Okay, next one. Cute. Okay, Bianca, we'll go with you. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I just want that picture. I'm hanging up in my house. <laughs> I love it. Um, I... Oh gosh, I can't even think of anything. Well, okay, the one, the only thing, because I love the way the hands are. I think it's sweet. I, I don't know, it's kind of womb-like, and I love that. Um, I love Dad's hands. The only thing that I would say is the toes. Um, it's painted on, and so we don't want to lose any of those sweet little details. And I would say the toes are probably the biggest thing there. Um, but I love. Oh gosh, I love it. It's so pretty. Totally, uh, Courtney. Anything to add? No, I don't really have anything to add. It's a beautiful shot. I love it in black and white. I love mm -hmm. the dad's hands there. Um, but yeah, like Bianca said, just I can tell a little bit was painted over the toes, but that's about it. Totally. Now for, for me, I, lo I love this image, but I'm going to be a little bit nitpicky because this is a shot that I love to do too. Um, but I would stop down a little bit. I can see that the dad's hands are a little out of focus in the foreground and his wrists are in focus and the baby's in focus, but I'd like everything to be in focus for me. And also I love adding a bit of negative space. So I would kind of, um, you know, bring bring a bit more black on the sides and the top and really make it just, it's so powerful when you have an image like that, when the baby is so little in the in the hands and it just really highlights it. So that would be just my little tidbits of critique. Okay, next one, we'll go with Miss Allie. Oh, all these babies have hair. <laughs> um, so I think with this image, um, I would like to see probably the fingers underneath the cheek. Mm. Uh, and having the, the hand flat under the cheek would help rotate that head up a little bit. So um, it, the cheeks turned up a little bit more. Um, and um, the foot is the first thing that's closest to the camera. So the focal point is falling on the heel and um, the line from the heel on the leg, the, the face is a bit soft. So you, again, you would like ideally to have the face closest to the camera and then the bokeh would be blurred down the baby um, instead of reverse in this, in this, um, this image. And then um, the, uh, I noticed quite a bit of, of gray and uh, cyan almost on the upper mm. part of, of the baby's back. And um, I think that's probably where the uh, baby's little, the little peach fuzz is. So mm -hmm. if it's darker, it tends to go a bit of the grayish tone, but that's something you can fix in Photoshop. But yeah. Awesome. So if you're just joining us, I just want to welcome you. And I'm here with Ali Peck. I'm here with Bianca from Bianca Hubble Photography and Courtney from Twig and Olive. And we are here today. And I'm Lisa. You can't see me right now. Um, we're here for a live speed critique. We've had some amazing images submitted and we're just going through them. And okay, so we're going to head on to the next image and we will start with Bianca. Oh, sweet baby. I, I, I love that headband. It's really cool. Um, okay, so let's see. I would I would prefer the hands to be a little lower down um, so that the chin is more on top of the hands and you won't have that squishy face um, if you put it underneath the hands, if you put the hands underneath the feet, the underneath the feet, no, underneath the chin. Yeah. Uh, I would pull out that leg that's closest to the camera so that you can see the toes behind the elbow would be super, super cute. Mm. Uh, and then I just see a little bit of red on the head, on the head, the hairline, the chin. The, oh my goodness. That's not a chin. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk today. So around the forehead and the hair, I see like a little bit of like reddish orange going on there. But yeah. um, I, I love it. I think it's a really sweet picture and you, you're, you've gotten really close to the pose that I think you're going for on that. Awesome. Courtney, anything to add? Um, 
I broke up a little bit, so I didn't fully hear what Bianca said, but I would definitely pull that left arm back, like the mm -hmm. elbow back just a little bit to straighten out the hands in the front. Yeah. I find like when you can rest the chin kind of on the tops of the hands, the baby's mm -hmm. going to balance the head better and not look so swish squished on the side. So, but baby's beautiful. I love it. Awesome. Great tips. Okay. Uh, next one, Courtney, we'll start with you. Oh, what a peanut. So what I like what they did here um, is I like how they made the background all one color here to kind of put the focus on the baby. Um, it's always tough when you're using different kinds of props to pose baby on, but we definitely want to put that left hand out in front of baby's chin a little bit. And if you are going to keep baby in a diaper, that's totally fine, but find maybe a diaper cover or a little pair of pants or something to cover it. Awesome. Uh, Allie, anything to add? Oh, that's cute. I um, I used to, I had a truck just like that one, put babies in it too and pose. <laughs> that was yeah. so fun. Yeah, I love that. Um, I think maybe just a, a bigger crop to me, um, just so that there's a little bit more area on the sides because the top, the top of the truck, or the, sorry, the uh, front of the truck is almost clipped, but just add a little bit more space around um, the side, the left side and the top, I think um, just crop wise would look good. Awesome. Um, and I just want to mention, um, I think this is, is an image is amazing, but I also want to mention just um, safety concerns. And, I'm, and I hope that um, this image was a composite where it's, it, we are so responsible for these tiny little people. And um, when we're putting them on things that they can be balancing on, I think it is so important to composite things like like this when they're balancing on things. So I'm sure that mom is probably edited or helpers edited out of the shot as well. Um, okay, so next one is Allie. That's sweet, very sweet. The eyelashes look nice and sharp. <laughs> That's nice. I think uh, for me, perhaps having um, the, the hand pulled a bit um, more underneath the, uh, the the cheek, so just more the fingertips are showing, um, and that also will flatten the fingertips out a bit. Um, would be my critique, but the, it's nice that the uh, focal point's really on the on the baby's face and not on on, on anything else. There, I think that looks good. Awesome, uh, Bianca. Anything to add? I love the eyelashes. Love, love, love the eyelashes. It's beautiful. Uh, I agree with the hand, and I would say the lighting. Um, not really sure if it's coming from the bottom up going up lighting or if it's like from the top of the baby going down um but i would definitely adjust the lighting so that it could flow down baby's face instead totally okay next image and we'll start with ally <laughs> smile very sweet um the color of the skin looks nice there's um i see a bit of a, it's a little yellow but i think that's the color of the fur and the wrap um the um the image to me looks like it, it's not quite in focus, but um, I'm not sure if the others can see that as well. The face looks a little bit on the softer side to me. Yeah, I have to um, agree with you. Yeah, but the lighting's pretty. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I'd, I would suggest the hand that's up higher up on the head up here, if they could pull it down a little bit and have the hand kind of cupping under the chin would have been great, but mm. I mean, that's just, you know, just a, a small thing. It's hard to do that when the legs are up that high. Yeah, totally. Okay, next one we'll go with Bianca. Oh, it looks like somebody's uh, tapping into yeah. their inner Louisa Dunn here. I'm going to see um, if I can. <laughs> well, I'm trying to make this bigger, but it won't let me, guys. So sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it's, I think it's beautiful. I really love it. Um, I love the background. I love the wreath. I love everything. It's really, really pretty. Um, let me get really close, awkwardly close to the computer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, I, I think the only thing, and this is just being nitpicky, um, because I don't like seeing it, but it might be just a preference. I would kind of shoot a little bit more over baby shooting downwards so that I can go down the nose, um, and not see so much nostril, but I really love this image. I think it's beautiful. Totally. Allie, anything to add? Um, I don't, I actually don't mind the way that it's shot straight on, um, or the nostrils myself, but, um, that, that to me is just a preference. The only suggestion I see is that the light might be coming a little bit from completely from the side, almost mm. near the bottom. Uh, and I would just suggest having the, the light a little bit higher up. So it's shooting this way down on the baby versus this way. Yeah, totally. Um, I love it and I'm going to be super nitpicky, but, um, I love, so you see on the right side how it's like this nice smooth, like round, um, 
it's, it's like a little peanut, right? Um, I would almost liquefy the left side a little bit just so it's that perfect little round shape. That's so nitpicky. Yeah. <laughs> so nitpicky. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so next one, Miss Courtney. Oh, I love the colors on this. Beautiful image. Um, I love the pose. I love the hat. I love the knit on the hat too. I would pull the fingers out just ever so slightly so you can see them on the side of the face. Um, and then lighting wise is a little dark on the bum, but otherwise really cute. Yeah, super cute. Super, super cute. Well done. And for me, it's just pulling that little hand out. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you can't get it. Right? And sometimes, yeah. Sometimes that's just what you get. That's, that's how the babies are, and then you have to move on. So I think this is beautiful. If anything, with this, the floppy hats, I know you can't see me, but what I like is to be able to, instead of having them folded behind, I like them folded over so you can kind of see the, the entire hat, the tail of the hat, too. So um, next one, we will go with Allie. Mm -hmm. So I love how, how sharp the uh, the image is. Um, I think that the eyelashes the mouth and the nose are all in a um, good focal point. Um, to me, the baby looks like it's uplit so that the light is coming um, up the face, the back and the face where um, to me, I prefer to have it come down the head that the opposite way. Um, I'd pull the hand a little bit uh, farther back so that the uh, shoulder isn't right up under the chin. So there you have the actual fingers that are more under the cheek instead of versus up higher. Um, and then just maybe um, I see a little bit of it. I see a hair, a loose hair on the lip there. And there's a loose distracting hair on the headband um, that looks like it could be combed out. Mm, perfect. Uh, Courtney, anything to add? Uh, yeah, I would just rotate the headband a little bit too. Like where Ali was saying with the hair, I can kind of see the bulk of the headband. And that's kind of distracting to me where I want to just see baby's head first. So, mm. but I love the colors. I love purple. Yeah, I love purple too. Okay, so next one we'll go Bianca. Rainbow babies. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet baby. Um, I love the wrap. That I wrap love is the gorgeous. Wrap. <laughs> I want so the wrap. gorgeous. Me too. I want that wrap. So uh, Casey, if that I think that's what it says, Casey, <laughs> yeah. you had to tell us where you got that wrap because it's beautiful. Um, I I love this image. Uh, I let's see. I, I feel like the lighting is beautiful on it, and I would take and again just just stick your finger in there and wrote and like run out her fingers so that they can be flat. Um, and then she doesn't have like a little bunchiness there. Um, but okay. So I think it looks like there may be like a cushion underneath her face. And if you take and push that cushion, um, it looks like it's like right here underneath her face. So it's kind of scrunching up her face, but if it gets pushed back just a little bit more, like a little behind her cheek, that'll help pop up her cheek a little bit more too. Um, which I think would kind of round out her face. But I love it. I especially love that wrap. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do two more in images, and then we're going to say goodbye. <laughs> okay, so Courtney, I'll give you this one. Oh, oh another eye-open one. Oh. I love those. <laughs> you know, it's so tricky to get babies to look at you when you're doing the eye-open shots, but having that contact is just awesome when you can get it. Um, the wrap looks good. I think the fingers would either need to be all the way in or all the way out instead of just kind of poking a little bit there. And as far as the lighting goes, it's just a little bit low. I would bring it a little bit higher. Yeah, totally. Allie, anything to add? Uh, if you wanted to, you could uh, liquefy the edges of the wrap so she's more mm -hmm. round than yeah. she is a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, lopsided um, in areas. But And the lighting, yeah, I agree with that. She's okay. a very pretty baby. Gorgeous baby. Look at that hair. I know, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ellie, I'm going to give you the last image of the day. <laughs> so cute. I love the matching teddy bear. <laughs> so cute, the headband. <laughs> um, so for this one, the, the um, focal point is falling to, on the, uh, the bottom foot, the toes. Yeah, so I would prefer the head to be the what's closest to the camera. Um, and in this case, the foot's closest to the camera. Um, and if you could straighten the fingers out a little bit, that would have been great as well. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this is natural light, and it looks like um, from the shadows that the light is coming up. This is a, little, this is a bit tough. It looks yeah, like it's the lighting uplit. Be, it's uplit and I think coming down as well, if that makes yeah. sense. 
Mm -hmm. I can see the uplift from the shadows on the foot. On the foot, yeah. yes. Um, yeah, so that just rotating the baby would help a lot with that image. Yeah, totally. Bianca, anything to add? Uh, stretch your backdrops. If you yeah. stretch your backdrops, that'll eliminate all those wrinkles in there and baby will lay down on a nice soft surface. Um, so smooth surface, I should say. So I would say, recommend stretching your backdrops out. Awesome. All right. So thank you so much for joining us. And I actually have a treat for you guys. We have a downloadable. It is a um, self-critique guide that will help you critique yourself, help you give critique to others. Um, and so that will be available at the milkyway.ca backslash critiques. And we'll post it in the comments. Um, and in the description on this video. So you'll be able to grab your copy too. And if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you love this critique, give us a thumbs, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We hope to do more of these critiques for you. Um, lots of tutorials, tricks, tips to help you become the newborn photographer you want to be. So I wanna thank Ali from Glow Portrait, my buddy. Bianca from Bianca Hubble Photography, also my buddy. And Courtney from Twig and Olive, my buddy too. And I am Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way. And thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye.